Greetings and salutations, Life and Poetry fam, and welcome back to another installment of Discussions with Marcus T, this guy. Before we move any further, Life and Poetry family, I have to make this announcement, guys. I am proud to say that we are now launching season two of Discussions with Marcus T. Season one was such a big hit that I decided to bring it back for another round. Now, what better way to start off season two than to start off with somebody, somebody that I... I've known for years, somebody that is true and unapologetic, somebody that is so un, uh, unadulterated and authentically them, right? I thought you family, without further ado, let me introduce today's mm-hmm. guest, a great friend of mine. He goes by Ben. I call him Ben, and we're going to call him Ben. I thought you family, let's welcome Ben to the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Ben, here. You know, it's an honor to kick off season two. I... Like I said, I am honored and humbled to, to be here today. Thank you, Marcus. Yes, you're, you're, you're welcome. And, and uh, offline, we've talked about this, and we've, we've joked about this before, um, as to how the, this discussion should have been happened. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I'll take the L for that. I don't know what side will pop up on. Either way, I'll take the L for that. Uh, <laughs> that's, you never know how it's going to mirror when you upload it, right? You never know how it's going to mirror. The double L's. Up right. See it. Um, so I, I'll take that. The schedule's never lined up and the timing never seemed to line up. But sometimes things happen for a reason and they don't happen for a reason. And now it's happening for this reason here. Um, and I'm excited to have you on here. Um, Life for your family, today we're going to dive into something um, that's heavy and light at the same time. We're going we're to try to make it as light as possible, but you never know how it's going to go here. On, on the on, with these discussions, it can start off one way and divert a whole other way. Uh, but we wanted to talk about today um, living uh, what's it, living a healthier lifestyle, right? We wanted to dive into that topic there because I I feel that that this topic here is prevalent in society today. Um, I can speak for myself that what I'm dealing with here, it really forced me to be, to truly think about what it was to live healthier and to change things in my lifestyle now. Ben knows, right? I'm transparent here. I don't like vegetables unless they come from the curry out and it's only specifically broccoli from the curry out. Ben is shaking his head because he says, no, it cooks all the nutrients. I don't care. I got some brown sauce on it, some chicken, some beef, something with it, and some some general sauce, put that sauce on top and mix it in with the rice. It's just delicious. Um, But Ben doesn't like that. He likes the vegetables, you know, fresh and all these things. And we're going to get into that there, right? But um, but Ben is with us today uh, because of not only what he can bring to this discussion here, but because he has an amazing story with his journey when it comes to this here and an amazing uh, victorious type testimony here. Now, before we get started, guys, I got to make this disclaimer. I was going to do this here, but me being transparent and this has to be raw and uncut and just so authentic. This is the second time we recorded this video. First time we had some technical difficulties that we had to just you know, scrap it and start over. And uh, some words came out um, on my part as I was talking to my computer, not to Ben, but to my computer, because it did some things that was uh, was just just it was just foolish. The computer was just so foolish, and I had to just speak to it in a good, stern manner there. Um, and it just had to be like, you know what, computer, get your life together, because I ain't got time for your nonsense today on this day, and which the Lord has made. Uh, <laughs> But uh, nonetheless, we are back here, and we're going to we're going to do this. We're going to we're going to do this here, as as Ben said before we started. Um, the first conversation went went okay, but maybe this one would be better. You know, things happen again. Things happen for a reason. They don't happen for a reason, right? So we're going to dive into this one here now. This topic is going to be so. Um, it's just going to be there. It's going to be kind of spitfire here because I want it to be as flowing and free form as possible. Uh, but again, Ben, thank you so much for being here. Um, okay, like I said, your story through this process here has been amazing. It's it's been eye opening and truly, it's been a testament uh, to people around you. Like me hearing what you went through and me hearing you say, you know what, I'm going to do this here and not give in or, or give up. It literally gave me courage to do a lot of things. I think I've told you this before, uh-huh. right? Right? I know. Don't we now? We're gonna get sentimental. 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 Even. Sentiment. There you go. That word. That tongue tied. You know the list. I know. I know. You had your big SAT word of the day before, so you know. Right. Dang. I, can't, I don't know. Remember what it was. See, it's all right. It was toxicity. Toxicity. Right. We won't get into that too. Talk the toxicities of it all. Right. Mm-hmm. The, the strength that that Ben um, 
uh, uh, puts out and that he, 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 he it's, 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 it's amazing in its own right. Um, I've, like I said, I've, I've known Ben's for a very long time. We went to high school together. We graduated together and we, we still in contact. We didn't go to the same colleges together, um, but we stayed in contact over the years. Um, whether my phone was on or off, we still sit in contact with each other. Um, like a part of that's an inside joke there, right? Um, if, you, if you know, you know. Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. But, um, but Ben, I, I want to ask you this here. What are... I, I want to hear. I want you. I want to hear your story from you. I don't want to tell your story here. Um, if you're willing, um, let's jump into it. You ready? Yeah, sure. All right. So, man, Jesus, it's it's crazy. It's it's a, it's a lot we touched on in the first in the first try of this year. Yeah. Um, and I really wish I was able to salvage a piece of that recording, but because the computer wanted to be disrespectful. Um, mm-hmm. save it. I even tried to grab it. It was like it was corrupted. When I tried to grab it, when the computer power back on. Oh, um, yeah. Um, but it's all right though, because I I, I want to know your journey from you, if you're willing. When you're with, you know, as as you choose to lay it out, and, and we'll tap in from there. If that's all right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't know how far back we want to go with this journey. Um, I think I'll hit on me being a diabetic, and we'll we'll build. We'll go, we'll go on that journey from there. So back in 2018 or 2017, I think I learned I was a type two diabetic. That basically means my body's not producing enough insulin. So I was taking metformin to help with that. Then around 2018, I had a sort of a scare as most type two diabetics have. It's called diabe- diabetic ketose acidosis. And in that process, your body isn't producing enough insulin to keep up with the sugar that's in your blood. So my body was at an all time, excuse me. (laughs) My body was at an all time high when it came to my blood sugar levels. It was like 300 plus and you don't, that's, that's a terrible sign. I learned that the hard way, like a normal range is about anywhere between 100 to about 160, 170 max. So I'm double that. And in the hospital, it, it, it even went up a little bit more. Like I think I was at like 350 or so. And at that point, I wasn't the healthiest at all. Like I thought I was being healthy. Like, oh yeah, I'm eating salads. You know, I was like, I'm on my own little diet now. I'm sitting here, you know salads for breakfast, egg whites for lunch, you know, trying to be healthy that way. And it wasn't until I looked in the mirror and saw how much weight I had lost. Like I was down about 60, 70 pounds in a span of like two months, maybe more than that. And I was like, whoa, I look terrible, right? So I went to the hospital, talked to the nurse. They were like, yeah, we got to admit you right now because it's possible that you could, you know, you could die. And I didn't really in that, you know, coming that close to something happening like that, it, uh, it changes you in a lot of ways. Like being in that hospital bed, it was like the, the wake up call to be like, hey, you really got to get it together now. Like we can't say we're trying and not do it. So I was like, okay, self, you're going to go out there. You're going to do the thing you're going to get healthy and it was also in that moment i wanted to share this journey with everybody because you know with social media and stuff like that everybody talks about it's a great way to connect with people great way to meet others that may be similar to you and me being a diabetic i'm like okay maybe i can meet other diabetics who are going through the exact same thing like get that sort of support and encouragement because none of my other friends are diabetic as far as I know, you know, so it's hard opening up to them about the trials of, well, I can't really eat that much rice now. I got to eat more veggies. I got to eat more meat. I can't really have cake and ice cream the way that you guys eat it. And it's a struggle trying to find those that who are healthy, I guess, healthy, let's put that in quotations, um, to really relate to you because they're like, well, 
I can eat whatever I want to eat. And I'm like, cool, but I can't. They're like, well, that's your problem. It's like, all right, like, okay, I'll, I'll just be over here by myself. Then that's cool. You know? And I think through that process, I learned a lot about myself. I learned that if I really want to accomplish it, I, I will. Like I was on insulin when I got out the hospital back in, I want to say it was April. And then by the time July rolled around that same year, my diabetic coach was like, hey, we can take you off of insulin because you went from being at like a 13 A1C down to about a five. And you going down to a five or lower, that means you could possibly get off of being considered a diabetic altogether. So right now I'm at a six, which is pre-diabetic, which is still, it's still great. It's still fantastic. Like I haven't had any double digits. I haven't gone any higher than that, which my doctor's like, yeah, that's great. Keep at it. But if I can lose, if I can get myself down to four, I will medically no longer be considered a diabetic, a type two diabetic. And that is what I am currently working towards. And yeah, that's, I guess that's part of my story. Yeah, we'll, we'll cap it. We'll cap it there for now. Uh, that That's a... Intrigue in Marcus's eyes. I'm like, it, it is. It, it's amazing. Like I said, so I, I know some of the story, but I don't know it in detail. We we don't really talk about. <laughs> it's interesting how friends we'll come together. We'll talk about a lot of stuff, and we'll hint at things, and it will pull back, so mm-hmm. on and so forth. I'm out. You know, I, I did with my story. Uh, I know you guys had a lot of questions about what I was dealing with, why I disappeared for an entire year. Oh, I mean, till, I still, t- still, still today, I still get certain questions from certain friends who are like, okay, so you ready to talk? I'm like. Go to the YouTube page, and that's why I did the the, uh, the Truth and Bill series on YouTube, because um, just as you said, these platforms you can, you can get out to a bigger audience. People are dealing with this, so you can and you can literally connect with people who, who are dealing with the same things or something similar to what you're dealing with, whether it be the diagnose diagnosis or the journey itself. Um, mm-hmm. I know for me, when I did the Truth and Bill series, uh, there were some people who reached out to me. <laughs> It was interesting, and because it, it was interesting to me, because I didn't think it would, would go that far. Um, some people reached out to me from foreign countries, were going through the process, or not not necessarily the the illness, but the process of of um, of, 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 of paraparalysis, which is partial paralysis, mm-hmm. things like that. And I remember one one young lady reached out to me. She messaged me when she saw the video, which was linked to a TikTok video I did. And she was telling me, um, she was explaining to me how her mom was dealing with something similar that her legs gave out on her. It, the docs don't know what's happening, so on and so forth. And she asked me, how did I get through? Or how am I getting through? Or what, what do I do to combat it? And I simply, I really told her, like, well, I'm kind of in your situation. I don't really know because I don't know what happened. But this is what I'm doing. I'm exercising. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my, my physical therapy or PT. And, and I'm going to the doctors. I'm getting those other opinions. I'm trying to figure it out as we go along. But we're, we're piecing puzzles. We're, we're, it's like putting it, what's that thing called? The jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. You know, you got the, the thousand piece puzzle, so you try to put the corners together first. More I don't even do that. Do that. I, just, I just give up. I leave it in the box. Oh. Because that's that. Nah, mm-mm. It, give me like 10, 15. Oh, yeah, for sure. We can yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's some, some of that thousand piece puzzle. You look at it like, man, this is just super wide. Give me, give me a fab. Give me the big block puzzle that you get like preschool. Exactly. I got yeah. that, right? I can knock that out. Right. Yeah. But it's like, and that's how I explained it to. I was like, sometimes you get the bigger puzzles, you get the smaller puzzle. What it's about how you choose to um, work through it, I guess. Um, and I guess just like you, you know, you, you found out about it and you 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 attacked and you like you worked the problem, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I know we talked about that before. You're know, working the problem. Um, and learning to do that is, is a great thing, especially because you know you're in a space, but you don't want to be in that space forever. Yeah. You know, a lot of people think when they get these, these, these diagnoses, oh my God, this is it. It's over. I can't do nothing about it. It's a lie. There are a lot of things you can do about it. Like I said, living a healthy lifestyle plays a big part in a lot of these illnesses that's, that are out there. But people don't want to talk about it because it's, because it's not talked about. It's not in the forefront. I, I know going green or with vegan, vegetarian, all these things have come up real prevalent in, in like what the past few years. It hasn't been as popular as it's been recently. And a lot of people are saying, oh, if I, if I go organic, then this can change this here. If I use this natural product here, or if I, if I move more towards this here, things can reverse or adjust, right? Mm-hmm. So with that, I, I would ask, and what ways did you choose to adjust 
um, once you found that, that you were pre-diabetic? Like, was it like exercise, uh, food, or, or what? Ooh, well, I love food, so we can, we can start there. Um, I actually tried to go without sugar when I first figured this whole thing out. And that was probably one of the dumbest decisions I made in all my years of life because everything has sugar. Almost everything nowadays has sugar in it to some some default. So it was like no coffee, no tea, like a lot of like certain things. I would just like sit and read the label and be like, oh yeah, it's a little bit of sugar. I can't have it. Like everything had sugar, so I couldn't escape it. And I learned like your body does need sugar to an extent. You can't just go without it because then you fall into having low blood sugar. And that's like 60, 70, 80, you pass out. And it's like, what happened? Oh, he needs an orange juice stat because yeah, you have no sugar today. So I learned that wasn't going to cut it. I tried, I tried going vegan and that was a bit hard as well because I started to miss like just, you know, eating chicken or eating certain type of foods And I learned that wouldn't really help me in the long run because, you know, it was me and my grandfather at that point still. And he had his own diet, me trying to do my own diet. I was spending way too much on groceries. So I had to then really reinvent like, okay, what is something we both can eat? We both can do. And I came to a more healthier balance, but that takes time. You have to Like, you know, I went through two fails before I finally got a success in terms of eating food. But if I just gave up, you know, at the first sign of it, I would have never found a better balance for what I eat. And when it came to exercising itself, I went with one of my friends to like the gym. Like he was like, we can go sign up for the gym together because surprise, surprise, I'm diabetic, too. I was like, oh, wow, cool. So we started working out. And that's when I really got into weightlifting and the gym really teaches you weightlifting. I feel really teaches you to go beyond your limits, even when you think you can't like uh, when I would try to deadlift about 200 pounds, I was scared because I'm like, Ooh, I seen people fail this on YouTube and you know, they try to pull up and then they just like crack their back and that's just gone. It's like, I don't want to be like that. I'm scared. Help me. And they're like, well, you know, you have to at least try it first. And, you know, we'll be there spotting you as well. So you're not lifting it alone. You have help. So I lifted, you know, thinking I couldn't do it. And it's like, hey, I lifted 200 pounds, you know, with bare minimum help. Everything went well. So just in the act of trying it, you know, don't write yourself off. Like when a problem arises, at least try it and see Because even if you fail, you're bound to learn something about yourself, whether it's good or bad, you learn something. And I think that's the biggest thing you as a person can do is learn more about yourself to be better. And yeah, that's, that's my long winded speech. That's not long at all. That, 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 that that was pretty good. Um, It may, I'm sitting reflecting um, about trying and learning about yourself in the process. Um, Point in case, if I may, point in case, um, in, the, in my process, I learned that my patience ain't where it's supposed to be, Ooh. right? Uh, point in case, today with the computer situation, I, I flipped, you know, I'm glad we were recording, I flipped. Oh. Um, it was bad. It, it, life and poetry, it was some stuff that was not YouTube appropriate that came out of my face, and I apologize for that, Ben, for turning that side. Um, it was fine. You're human. What do you mean? That's uh, cool. And, to, and that, that's it right there. I learned that piece there. I learned that I was human. But the patience factor through the through my physical journey was like, yo, this got to, I need this to happen like uh, uh, as, as uh, some people say expeditiously. Does it happen now? Um, at my, I've been on with 2016 that year. Hospitals, mm-hmm. plural, two hospitals. And the, every doctor says, oh, it's going to take time to walk. It's going to take time. Lady, ma'am, sir, dude, bro, homie, I ain't got time. I want it now. And I remember when I first came home from the first hospital. Remember, I came home. I had to go back to the hospital. When I first came home, it was, I, I laughed at it now because it was like, bro, like I literally was, I, I saw death at the door. Like it, it was there. It was, there was no coming back from it um, because I didn't want to try. Right? I didn't have that try factor. I had a quit factor in me. But at the same time, I was like, yo, bro, this ain't you. 
right? You don't know how not, to, you don't know how to quit. It's not in your DNA to do it. Mm-hmm. But it, it was a process when I had my first physical therapist who actually quit on me, believe it or not. She, she quit. She just didn't show up after like two weeks. She just stopped coming. No notice, no nothing. But I remember mm-hmm. saying, I, I don't want to do this here. Just show me how to, I don't got time for doing full PT. Help me walk. This thing is not helping me. And I guess she was teaching me that you got you to take the first steps to get to where you want to get to. It's like crawl before you walk type thing. Yeah. You know, um, and like, like you said about the food uh, and the life and part of your family. I'm going to say this here. Um, ben can cook his face off. If you got a pot, a pan, or some ingredients, it's going to come out delicious. Uh, he fried some chicken one time, y'all, and, and I'm kind of mad because I ain't had no sense. It was uh, amazingly delicious, and it was just rice. It was, it was just, it, it was, I'm thinking about the chicken now. It was amazing. Maybe one of fried chicken. Right. And fried chicken and like, I want to say maybe the last time I made it for you, honestly, like I haven't. Well, I'm, I'm, I guess I guess I'm glad because then it must get done. So <laughs> right? I, I say I'm selfish, right? I'm petty like that. I'm glad. I know. And good fried chicken takes time. It takes me like two it, days to make a good It takes fried time. Chicken. Yeah. And you had to you had to try it. You, and you had to learn to adapt. Even with that, with, with the frying stuff, you know, I know with, with, with healthier lifestyles, people frown upon fried food sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, but to know that that you said, you know what, let me tackle this here. Like I know this this is something that I, I have control of. Or this is one variable that I can change. I know sometimes in life you, you, you're dealt variables that don't change, um, like like your life itself. You were born to do parents, that variable don't change, right? You, live, you you were raised a certain way, that variable doesn't change. You were raised that way, that's how your parents raised you. You can't go back to change it. We're on, we're almost thirty. You can't go back to when you were five five to ten and say I'm gonna change this now. It's not gonna happen. But as Wait, you move forward, tr- trust me, right? But as you move forward into the future, maybe you can do that different with with your family as you as you pull up with your own children and so on and so forth. But interesting, the food part for me was the most interesting thing. Um, life and your family, you guys know I don't like certain foods. I'm the most, I'm one of the most pickiest eaters you're going to find. Yeah. Uh, I'm quite sure there are others out there like me, but right now I am the most pickiest eater. Uh, point case. Restaurant has something on the menu that it doesn't even sound right on the menu. If the picture, if the picture doesn't look right, I'm not going to eat it. It's just foolish. No. Give me a restaurant that has chicken strips and french fries or a burger. I'm good to go. Maybe uh, an Italian restaurant that got some great spaghetti. I'm good to go. But I try not to venture from certain things. Um, however, I know ben, ben and my wife has me venturing out different things. I know um, my wife has me eating like tacos, for instance. I, I would eat a taco with just the meat in the shell. What? You eat right. tacos now? Right, right, right. Yeah, right. I'm surprised, man. This is... oh, but now I'll put lettuce and tomatoes on my taco. Right, right. Thank you for not cussing. Uh, but it's, it's, it's real minute. I'm, I'm real small when it comes to eating. But um, when it comes to the healthy lifestyle of eating, uh, Ben chose to do something and step out and say, you know what? This is that variable I can change. I think I touched on that as well, the variable I can change. And he, he said, look, I'm going I'm to figure this piece out here. I, he's, he's a, he's a, he loves eating. He loves food. He's a foodie. And he, he's a great chemist in the kitchen. He'd be making stuff. I know, be, I know he'd be talking about he'd be reading recipes. I think he'd be lying. He'd be making some, he'd be making some uh, try to pass on recipe books. But uh, but I, I've seen I've seen Ben pull up some great recipes and try out different things that helps him along that journey there. Uh, which is interesting. because uh, I think, like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people believe that cutting out, like you said, sugar is the thing. I'm, I'm gonna just pull sugar out altogether. Um, or I'm gonna pull this out altogether. Not knowing that your body needs some of those things, some of those vitamins or, or like I said, that sugar content. Your body needs a certain level of sugar to maintain itself, um, which is something I didn't know until you said it, believe it or not. I didn't know. Yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, like, like I said, some people say oh, sugar is too much for me. I cut it out. Or they did a sugar alternative thing, which is disgusting. I'm sorry, that's that's Flinda. <laughs> for me, it is that after, after taste in my mouth. Um, yeah. It's also interesting for me to hear you say that because for me, my for my journey is different. I have to eat the sugars, I have to eat the fats and the, the carbs mm-hmm. and the proteins. Um, because I, I lost, uh, to, to, <laughs> so this process through my journey from 2000 and it, it really started, I hospitalized in 2016, but this started in what, 2013 and up when I first found out I was sick, 2013, I think it was 2013. It, yeah. April, 2013. I found that I was sick. Wow. Mm-hmm. Right? wow. Um, I remember the day I'm in time. I remember exactly what I was wearing that day, um, of black sweatpants, orange shirt, V-neck stripes, 
I had a, um, a Baltimore Orioles snap back on. I remember the day when I was at the doctor and I found out it was crazy. Um, but I, I remember when I, when I, I remember finding out that I was losing the weight. It was so, it was so small. Was a, here and here, this, now, this, this it happens. I'm, I'm working out. It's happy you lose weight. When I went to the hospital, I weighed in at 113 pounds. Now I started at 145. Within the span of, and it's funny because from, 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 13 to 15, I still stayed in the 140, 145-ish. But 16, 145 to 113. The doctors was like, what happened? I'm like, you the doctor, you tell me. And this is meant to discuss, I'm having to argue with the doctor. I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm eating what I can eat, with what I can stomach right now. I can't do too much movement because if I'm, I'm off balance or I just can't move. I literally in the hospital been with this band on us at risk of falling. I can't go to the bathroom on my own without having somebody there to say, come on, let's go to the bathroom. You know, that's like, bro, really? I can't go use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm 20 plus years. I'm like, let me go potty. Let me go do potty on my own. I got this here, right? But to know that that's not always the case for people. And and I, I also have the, the 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 scare factor that if I do too much, that, that these things can pop up. Like, mm -hmm. I remember my doctor telling me that if I push too hard with the, the, the sugars, which I need to gain weight, that I risk, I risk um, signing to the pre-diabetic side of things. But I got to balance it out with moving more as much as I can. It's like, but it's a, for me, it's a catch-22. Either I do it and I don't <laughs> figure this out or, yeah. or if I don't. And it's like, so it's like, how do I balance this out here? Uh, but to know to find that balance in your, in, your, in your journey there, like I said, with the food and with the exercising, it's, it's, it's amazing to know that you didn't give up that you kept trying, you found that friend that was like, you know, I'm, I, I'm doing this too. Let's, let's do this together. Right. Yeah. What is say, um, uh, find your buddy, the buddy system, right? Middle school, you have the buddy system. Don't go without your buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm that buddy. And I think that's key for a lot of things to get through having somebody that understands your situation mm -hmm. and that can help you work through it. Right. Yeah. Um, so with that, I asked, I know in one of the recordings, one of the recordings we did, you test on the, I think you mentioned it here as well, the weightlifting. Yeah. Uh, why weightlifting? I know you said you, you get the, the accomplishment factor and at least you tried it, but why weightlifting in, in itself? I think it's because like, I watch a lot of wrestlers, you know, that's, that's one of my favorite things watching wrestlers, like, you know, wrestle and they do a lot of weightlifting and things of that nature. And, uh, it ties into who's the current champion in wrestling, which is a, a man by the name of Big E. And he has a podcast with a few of his wrestling friends where they talk about everything. They talk about, um, you know, like TV shows. But recently they had an episode about uh, mental health and he's very open about his mental health, like saying like, hey, I'm not doing the greatest or hey, I'm doing OK today, you know. And he talked about how meditation and weightlifting really helped him through a lot of those times in his life where he felt like, I can't keep going. But lifting weights gave him a sort of like, uh, almost like mental clarity, because all he had to focus on was just picking up that weight and just pulling it, you know, pulling it upwards to his chest and dropping it. <laughs> like, that's it. And at first, I didn't really get it. Cause you know, I wasn't lifting weights at that time, but being in that zone, that mindset where the only thing I really have to focus on and what's in front of me is picking up this a hundred pound, you know, bar, like weight. I, I got it instantly. It was like, okay, I see what he means now because everything else just, it just washes away. And uh, yeah, weightlifting very much has helped me whenever I'm able to go to the gym and do it it just helps give me mental like clarity and just in calmness in a way that meditation is slowly helping me get there with. Like I still don't get all the Zen things about meditation. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm getting there, you know, but weightlifting is that one thing where I'm like, okay, I can do this and nothing in the world matters right now. It's just me versus myself picking up this big metal object for like five seconds. And then being proud that I accomplished that. Like, I think a part of it is you trying your best, but it's also you believing in yourself that you can do it. 
And I think that's something weightlifting has just taught me as a person. And yeah, that's, I think that's why I like weightlifting. And if you can do it, do it safely, you know, learn how to do it properly. Don't, don't do anything too crazy. You don't need to throw out your back trying to lift 300 pounds. Just don't do it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm not even, yeah, just, I'm, yeah. I'm going to lift my fork every now and again. Yeah, I'm talking uh, about you just lift that fork. <laughs> but so you, 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 you um, I'm trying to test my stutter. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> It's coming back, and I really hate it. Um, but you you mentioned mental health. Um, mm-hmm. Through through your process and through your journey, then with the diabetes and having to adapt with your food and exercise, how big of a part did mental health play into you getting to where you are right now? Plato, I think that's the biggest. I think that was the biggest obstacle, honestly, because um, it's something you're not really taught about growing up. You know what I'm saying? And I think now that I really sit and reflect on, you know, how I came to who I am now, I owe it a lot to my grandmother because my grandmother, she always had a certain strength to her. And uh, when she had, she was diagnosed with lung cancer, like back in 2005, 2006. And she would still get up at 4 a.m., still clean these glass tables and I was like, why are you doing it? Like, you don't, you don't have to do this. And she's like, well, I have to show you what it means to be strong on the days when you don't feel like doing it. And that got me. I was like, oh, now that I'm older, I'm like, okay, I see it. Because not, you know, she couldn't afford to be like, my family still needs me. And I think I very much try to carry that to the people around me. Like, you know, I may have days where like today, I didn't feel like going out because it was raining. I was like, I don't want to go walk in the rain. That's, I can, I could skip a day. You know what I mean? But it's like, I know so many of my friends, like yourself, my friend, uh, Tori as another friend. Like, I know the good morning videos that I do, like it helps get people out of bed. Like I've legit had people be like, hey, your video got me out of bed this morning. Or hey, because of you, I did. So it uh, like knowing that the impact that I have, because I don't I don't really do like, you know, the things I do for likes or anything like that. Like, that's cool. Like getting 50 people to like my post is like, oh, my gosh, people see it. Cool. But the thing I try to focus on is the impact that I have on the people around me. Like if I can go to Marcus and he tells me, hey, Ben, I did this because of you then that that's it. Like, like I've won today, period. I don't care what happens. Today was a good day because my strength gave someone else the ability to try. And I think going forward, that's what I really want to just focus on is making sure that I'm at the top of my game and seeing the ripple effects it will have on those around me. Wow. That, that's, uh, no. It's it's it, it, it's heartfelt to hear that. But uh, before we, I want I want to tap into those videos. We want to go back to Grandma for a minute here. I'm okay. um, life support your family. I've never met Grandma before, but she is the most giving person that you can think of. And I'll tell you why I know that. In school, right? Grandma will always make sure that Ben had a big Texas um, pastry, right? For me. For me, she knew I loved them. Ben had went back to grandma and said, Grandma, you know, I got a friend. He loves these things here. And it was like clockwork. Every time I saw him, he's like, Yo, Grandma, I got you. hooked you up. Yeah. I, remember, I remember one time that she, did, she didn't have time to go to the store to get some. And, uh, and Ben was like, she, She's sorry she didn't have time to go get some. But next time you get it, and I was like, It's fine. It's fine. You know, but that there it was like, Yo, now mind you, like, Pony Shannon, if you know me, you know, I'm not, I'm not supposed to have them because of the cinnamon factor. Back then, Big Texas had me living risky. All right. Um, if you know me, I'm allergic to cinnamon. It wasn't as prevalent back then as it is, as it is now, but it was still there. But I know I know how to combat it a little bit with certain things. But yo, it was like every morning, Ben would reach in his bag, "Hey, grandma, I got you." You know, and it it was like <laughs> the most suspect thing ever. Because one time he slid it to me under the table, and I'm like, "That's still like a you know like a drug deal by the half type thing." But it was like she they always looked out for your boy, and I think that was so amazing. Like she was just. Oh, I wish I was able to meet her too. I wish I was able to meet her, just hug her and you know, just to thank her for that. 
because what, what, what a lot of people didn't know that that big text has got me through that day, right? One thing about me in school is that I was tired. And I needed that energy boost. I just needed something to put a smile on my face because I knew something was going to happen that day. You know, especially in Forza, where we went to school, guys, we went to a military academy. So on certain days, we had what we call formation. We had to meet up with, with our, our, our battalions so and so forth. We had to lead formations, um, this, that, and the third. And some days I'd be like, I don't want to be there. I don't want to do this here. But I had to because it was my, my job. It was my responsibility to be there and lead the formation. And the big text, and my mouth, okay, I'm going to eat this before formation. I might be wired. All this sugar, but I just put it out here. And that's literally what I would do. And it literally made my day to skate through on those days there. Uh, but it was, man, oh, man. Just reminisce on that there. Now, if I eat one, I'm going down. I don't tap into them no more. <laughs> but uh, but you, you mentioned the videos. You're encouraging morning, the morning videos. Those videos there are so heartfelt and so amazing. And, and they're so uh, authentic. Brian, be, uh, Ben, be on his walk. So I let your name sit my bed. Ben. That's uh, fine. That's, People can know. Right. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. Right. I trust the life and poetry family. That's fine. Right. Don't pull up on him like that. Right. Yeah. Right. Don't, don't pull up. I don't right. have any food. Whatever right. Get to know him there. first for y'all. Try that there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Ben be on his morning walks or do, doing his, his, his exercise and he will stop either. I don't know if it's during or before or after. He will let you drop a video just saying how much he loves you guys and encourage you guys to get encourages a person to get through the day. And those there are so needed at in every time. When I wake up, I go on Twitter. Like before, if I don't see it, if I, if I, if I refresh the page, it's not that I'm on Instagram, it's not that I'm on Facebook. It's on one of those plat- it's somewhere on one of those platforms and I look for it, and it literally gets me up out, it literally gets me up and going. Um and one thing you don't know, Ben, I'm, I'm I don't I don't share too much with this, but I haven't shared this with, with you before. But um, you know, as as I've been learning to walk again, there are things I have to do. So I just try to take a step without the cam of the walker. Right. Now, when I when I first saw one of your videos, right. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you've been doing this for some time, so you know how, how far this dates back. It's been some years, man. I don't know when I started. I think 20, 2016, 20, I can't remember. I just started doing them. I honestly can't tell you when I started. I was just, everybody's just like, yeah, we know you because you're I'm like, oh, sweet. That's cool. <laughs> when I saw one of the first videos, it encouraged me to say, you know what? The world is in my thing. Let me move on past this here. Let me actually take PT into my own stride, not just with my physical therapist, but on my own. So around 2017, I remember saying, let me try to take a step without the walker, mm. right? That morning, I saw your video. It's like clockwork. And it said, I can't quote it verbatim, but the premise of it said, you got this. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. That that took four steps without the walker. Four solid steps without my walker. And I was like, I need more of these videos here. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I knew that it, with that on top of me encouraging myself and me praying about it and me saying, you know, I got this here, me instilling in myself along with encouragement from my friends and from you. That that video like, was like, it was like the cherry on top of the, I don't eat Sundays. I don't do like cherries. I don't do that either. It was the sprinkles on top of the cupcake. That works. Yeah. It, it was amazing. It literally, it literally spoke to my, my spirit. So, you know what? I got this. Mm-hmm. Right. What happens if I don't try? I fail. Right. But if I fail and try, I win. Yeah. Right. And that's that's a mentality that we need to have today. And I, I applaud you. And I pray that this isn't being facetious or 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 anything, but I applaud you for having and choosing to have that mentality. Because you could have said, you know what, I'm not going to do this. It is what it is. It's going to yeah. be what it's going to be. But you said, you know what, I, I'm going to take this variable and I'm going to change it. Right. And with all the toxicity of it all, I brought it back. With, with all the it. with all the isms and the naysay from people saying you can't do this or, or whatever you have to deal with on a day-to-day basis. And it's like, you have to take all that and deal with that while still dealing with your own stuff. It's a lot. I know from firsthand, it's a lot to do. Mm-hmm. But Ben, you've done just that. You said to yourself, I'm not going to give in. I'm not giving up. And it's a true testament to your character, who you are, to who you're going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, not necessarily on tomorrow as in the day after today, but the days to follow. Mm-hmm. Like you've you've poured so much into the people around you that it's like, does he have any more to pour? You know, 
Um, and I've, I always ask myself, I say, yo, do he sit back and just recharge? Or do it was just like, I'm going to go out and encourage him and just keep encouraging? Oh, no, I recharge. It's, it, and, it, and it's funny because like it's from the outside, it, it seems like everything you boom, you're in there. I'm going to oh, yeah, smile yeah. this video. I'm going to get it out. If I, if I miss a morning, it's going to be at a nighttime, but it's still, it's still there. It's yeah, still there. I'm going to still get the message out somehow. You yeah. Know? Even as you're encouraging me with the food, you know, you and my wife and this food thing for me, is a, it's like, okay, let me, let me try. We so get I'm, you there. I, I, I'm pretty certain, yeah. Like, I, I do smoothies now, like fruit smoothies and stuff like that now. Um, okay. I even do, I'm, um, I was actually going to make one earlier today, but I had to set up everything. Um, mm-hmm. I, I have a blend of kale, strawberry, banana smoothie blend. It's, 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 it's interesting. I didn't first like kale, the taste of kale. It, it, it's nasty, I know. Yeah, but if you mix it with the good fruits, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It also has the with them, them berries, the blue thing, blue ber- the blueberries. Berries. Yeah. So it has that blend, and it's actually pretty good. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to step out of that comfort zone while still trying to put the weight on it at the same time, still trying to stay in that positive frame. Mm-hmm. But then, like, you, you're trying to get me to cry but i'm not going to do it no i'm 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 not i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not going to go too deep into this piece here but the stuff that you had to overcome would have set most people down uh, i i know personally we're not going to talk about it here but i know it would have set most people down um uh, but you, every day you get up and you motivate yourself along with other people to say you know what live your life to the best ability, the best ability that you can, right? Mm-hmm. And that there for me, it's just like that's that's the, the I can we can look at in this video here with just that saying there alone. Because <laughs> it, it has so much weight to it. And this is why I wanted you to be the first person on season two of, of this here. We're, we're kicking it, we're, we're pulling through these things and we're, we're gonna pull down those barriers to a lot of things in this season here. And we're, we're gonna open up eyes as, as much as possible here um because these are conversations these are the conversations that need to be had you've seen season one we tapped to politics religion uh mental health we did a whole month on mental health awareness an mm-hmm. entire month and that was like a lot of, that was a lot of videos to do a lot a lot but it allowed you to step back and reflect on to okay wait maybe i need to work here maybe i need to pull back here or pour into here mm-hmm. you know uh, but then you man we're going to stop before we start crying. We're not going that far. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's, I think it's a, it's a lot. Like, I know people will be like, oh, Ben, how do you do it? I'm like, I think it's just because I have people, it's, it's people's encouragement. Like, it always comes full circle. It's like, I encourage you to do your best. And then you bring that energy around back to me. It's like just, it's just a constant loop. But I think I've learned over this year is that I have to make sure I recharge as well because I can't keep giving everyone all of my energy if I run out of it. Like I know, surprise, surprise, but I run out of energy too, where I'm like, man, I don't feel like recording. Y'all gonna have to do your best without me. (laughs) Y'all gonna have to do your best without this video this morning. But I'll tweet and be like, hey, have a good day. That's one of the things I'm like, yeah, y'all might, y'all, y'all, y'all fine. You'll be good. You can watch an old one. I might have to start doing that. Be like, here's an old one. Maybe they won't know, you know, the hoodie and the hat. Maybe, you know, <laughs> I got to be in secret. But no, I haven't I haven't done that yet. But um, I've learned to just be sure that I'm good before I put myself out there. And hopefully I'm going to try to start encouraging more people to just do that. Like take time for yourself. Because I think a lot of us are always giving constant energy to everyone else instead of going more inward and focusing on what we need to do for ourselves first. Like we have to be first and then everyone else comes second, third, fourth, however you have it, however your hierarchy of friends is set up, but just take care of yourself first and move forward, go for it after that. Put your best foot forward and be okay that it's gonna be different each day. Because I know some people get upset. They have one amazing day. <clears throat> and then the next couple of days, it's like, okay. And that's fine. Like your best is going to look different every day. And I think if more people accept that about themselves, I think we'll be better off, honestly. I, I completely agree. 
I completely agree. And Life in Porch is always open for you to come. Whenever you want to come and graces with your presence here, whenever you want to talk about anything, the door is always open. You are family here with the Life in Poetry team. Like I said, you've been with me from the beginning through this process. I even just through Life in Poetry, Enough. through the diagnoses, um, and through everything else <laughs> before, in between, and after you, you've been there. Um, and it, it's a blessing to call you friend and family. Um, yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's, this was a great discussion. Even through all the, the, the glitches and all these things that happened, um, we made it work. And that's uh, just like you, just like you, 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 you fall down, but you get back up, you make it work. You, you work a problem. It's this, and this, I'm gonna go back and reflect on, on me eating this other <laughs> stuff here. Right. And I'm thinking about what I'm eating for lunch. I'm like, I'm about to eat me a burger or something like that, like some greasy type thing right now, but I don't even want that no more. Um, knock down seven times, you get back up eight, you know. You got to. Cause that eight times, it, sometimes it'd be that last piece that you really get what you need to, to actually mm-hmm. push on, you know. Um, it's crazy. You you are a true, like a true inspiration to a lot of people. I know my I can speak for myself. Your strength has got me through a lot of things. Um, a lot of things. Uh, I know it's not good to pull from people like that. Um, that's why I don't pull from you as like your, your, your being. I pull from your strength, you know, which, which you allow people to yeah, pull yeah. from. I give um, you some of my strength until you find your own. It's, it's, it, I mean. it took some time, Ben, but I can successfully and proudly say that over these past few years, I found that strength to do exactly what needs to be done. And it's simply to not give up. Yeah. I think I've done like six videos on not giving up. By now, somebody should get somebody should get the hand, right? Hopefully, it's, right. It's not an option, right? Maybe we can go for seven, eight, and keep it going, you know. <laughs> but it's not an option, Ben. This was this was an amazing conversation. Again, I apologize for all of the things that happened. You're um, fine, but you okay. are welcome. You are welcome back here anytime. Um, the invitation is always open. Um, I would love to do a cooking with cooking segment with you there. Oh, um, you cooking with Ben? Okay, we, we, right. we can. You know, and it's funny because as you were talking okay. about, it, I was like, I was like, Ben got to come back. My my my, my <laughs> wheels trying like, he got to come back. I was like, Let me make sure my equipment is right before we come back. Though, You're like he got to come back and have dinner. Ben making fried chicken. That's what's right. going to have to happen. Virtually type thing, you know. Um, but it's it's this, this was a great conversation, Ben. Thanks for coming. Before we go, uh, Spitfire questions. Right, you ready for it? So, no, okay. but all right. all right. So this is also a new thing we're adding to the discussion, right? Spitfire questions. They might change it at with every discussion, or they may stay the same. You never know. Here, life and poetry with Marcus T. This guy, right? <laughs> Spitfire round. You ready? Yeah, fire away. Let's, Let's go. go. Number one, you had any superpower? What would it be? Uh, super speed. If you can change anything about your process, what would it be? Uh, nothing. Honestly, no. Last question. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Oh, that's a tough one. It's it's Marcus T, of course. Come on. Get Thank out of you. here with that. All Come right. on. Life and poetry all day, every day. Come on. Life of your family, there you have it. This was Discussions with Marcus T and our favorite guest. And one of our new favorite guests, Ben, guys. Uh, ben, this was a great discussion. Again, you are welcome at any time. Um, life of your family, please don't get to like, comment, share, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, and until next time, stay safe, be blessed. We out. You want to do it for me, Ben? Oh, what am I doing? The little salute thing? Yes. Yeah. Ah, yes, we are out of here. There you go. I felt, I felt rewarding, man. I, felt, <laughs> I see why you do it now. I'm like, it's warm. Oh. It's, 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 I get it out there, right? Yeah. That's, that's nice. I might, have to, I might have to copy that for myself in the morning that, video. That's fine. Go for it. Right. Like, I, hey, I came up with this. At, I'm like, yeah, he did. Yeah. I'm, I'm a troll on all your social media pages too. Yeah, sure enough, Will. Yeah, I like for your family. Um, stay tuned for more discussions with Marcus D. This guy. So until next time. That guy, I don't know which way I am. I guess I'm pointing to you. <laughs> I hope I am. <laughs> like, yeah, this guy, obviously. He might be over here the whole time. And I'm like, well. Yeah, I'm on this side. But I'm no, sad. you had me look like a clown in front of all these people. Why would you embarrass me like this? Do not I you knew. me anymore. I thought, I thought you knew. No, you're on my left. <laughs> Remember, it, it mirrors, so it's always on the opposite side. Oh, also, because I moved the screens over on my side. So I may be on, on your side. My side may be different. I don't know. I hope so. You had me look like a whole fool. It's oh, all right. Life of the family, it's these guys. All right. Here, here on the channel.
But we're gonna go. We're gonna um, let Ben go and enjoy the rest of his day. But guys, again, stay tuned. More great things to come with, with the discussions here. Um, and yeah, we out. Peace. Peace.